How do you determine where and how to start your story? What sort of incident do you use? A shock start to grab your readers or audience's attention or a gradual build up to draw them deeper into the world of your characters before disaster strikes? Hello and welcome to Get Writing. I'm Dr. Stavros Halvatsis. There are many examples of both sorts of starts. Lord of the Rings is one, Speed is another. In his book, Film Script Writing, a practical manual, Dwight V. Swain calls finding the right moment to begin the story the point of attack. Swain suggests that in order to determine the optimal point of attack of your tale, you need to ask, what is the genre of your story? Are you writing for impact, characterization or atmosphere? Only when you answer these questions can you know what note to strike in your opening. In the horror film The Grudge, we are shown a man in an apartment building standing with his back to us on the balcony, several stories up. A woman, who we presume to be his wife or lover, lies in bed regarding him placidly. The man seems somber, pained, but calm. Suddenly, we see him tip over the railings and fall to the ground, killing himself instantly. The effect is one of shock, followed by a series of questions. Why did the man commit suicide? What did the somber expression on his face mean? Why did the woman not see it coming? These questions demand answers. They pull us into the story. While the rest of the movie provides the answers bit by bit, the start poses the questions in an arresting way. The screenwriter and director could have chosen to present events in chronological order, but that would have robbed the story of its mystery. The same can be said about Memento, a neo-noir psychological thriller. Here, the protagonist who suffers from short-term memory loss can only remember events that have occurred no more than a few minutes back. In order to solve a life-threatening problem, he leaves himself clues To make matters worse, the film relates the story about face, from end to start. The note struck by the opening scenes, therefore, is one of extreme confusion and obfuscation. Both openings are ideally suited to their specific stories that provide maximum audience engagement. To sum it all up, is it best to deploy a shock or gradual build-up as the start of your story? The genre and the tone you wish to strike can help you decide. That's it for now. If you gain something of value from this video, smash that like and subscribe button and leave a comment to share your thoughts and to help the channel grow. See you soon.